Election officials in Georgia are sounding the alarm about a series of rule changes that Georgia's GOP-controlled state election board is preparing to vote on. The changes would require that every polling location's manager and two witnesses hand count every paper ballot in every ballot box, an unnecessary change that would slow the state's election process to a crawl without improving election security. Other changes include requiring every absentee ballot to be hand counted and requiring a list of every registered voter to be posted publicly, a clear privacy violation that would put people like survivors of domestic violence at risk along with anyone else who values their privacy. The election board is already under fire for two rule changes they passed in August that together allow local election officials to refuse to certify elections for any reason, something that blatantly violates Georgia law. Travis Doss, election director in Richmond County, said, you can have 10 election directors stand up there and say, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, and then the board says, I make a motion that we approve this rule. Other than the obvious issues with these rules, election officials are worried that the new rule changes so close to an election would create an impossible task of retraining all of their poll workers. The Georgia Association of Voter Registration and Election Officials, representing 500 election officials across the the state is urging the election board to delay any rule changes until after the November election, which would at least give them time to retrain poll workers and avoid confusion. This is just another part of the GOP's plan to create confusion and chaos in an effort to stop the election from being certified. So get out and vote, stay informed, and don't let them get away with this. To stay informed and stay up to date on election news like this, give us a follow.